turf, disrupted, fishy, radical, un-American extremist terrorist, Nazi Neanderthal mobsters! You are my kind of people. <laughs> My name is Kevin Jackson. I'm the author of The Big Black Lie. My book is right over there. I don't even know how many I have left. And of course, you can get our mob t-shirts if you want to join the team. I'm absolutely glad to be here in Dallas. I'm actually from Dallas, an SMU grad. So glad to be home. I want to thank Dennis for inviting me out. Uh, God, I'm going to be headlining down in Austin in case you want to hear this speech twice. So let's play Did You Know for a minute. Did you know that you can spend your way out of debt? Did you know that you can then print more money to pay your bills? And did you know it'll only cost you about $20 trillion? And it must be true because Joe Biden said it. And did you know that Joe Biden is smarter than Sarah Palin? Did you know that we can recognize Ramadan but not Christmas? And America was not founded on Judeo-Christian values? Did you know that giving money to failing companies helps them to become successful? Did you know that releasing prisoners from jail helps the economy? Did you know that it's cheaper to send homeless on luxurious vacations than to have them on the streets in New York, a liberally run city? And did you know that stimulus is supposed to create jobs? Yeah, I didn't know any of that either. Oh, we'll talk about that in a second. So earlier when I described you terrorists, I did leave out an adjective that the left used to describe you, and that is racist. Yeah. It's funny because I speak at a lot of tea parties and I can't seem to find any. But they must be out here because the lamestream media says so. And they also told us that Joe Biden was brilliant. But regardless, I did a little research and I found that only one person has been physically attacked at a tea party or a town hall meeting, and his name was Kenneth Gladney. I think you guys met him here earlier, right? And I'm convinced that Obama had something to do with it, because Gladney was attacked by two guys, one white and one black, and I believe that Obama couldn't decide what part of his ethnicity he wanted to beat the crap out of a conservative black man. Now ask me if Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, NAACP, or any of these white guilt crowd showed up to help Mr. Gladney, and I think you know the answer to that. But just in case you do uncover a racist in our midst, the police have allowed me to set up waterboarding right over there, and Dick Cheney is on call, and he told me this, and I quote, Kevin, I will leave my calendar open. So a group of politicians, Dems and Republicans, were going to settle glo set a study global warming, and they went to the South Pole. And then they went to Hawaii, because it's hot there, and they wanted to just check out how hot. But they ended up in Italy, where they were staying at a resort. The room cost was $700 to $5,000 a night of your tax dollars. Wait, they stayed in the cheap rooms. Our uh, congressman up where I live in Missouri, Russ Carnahan's wife, actually had the nerve to close down a karaoke bar singing a song called You're So Vain. <laughs> in this economy, the White House is serving $100 a pound Japanese beef. Michelle, when she's not pumping up, is wearing $600 tennis shoes, and she's got the value of a Hyundai on her arm called a purse. And meanwhile, she's at a homeless shelter where homeless people are carrying cell phones, probably with minutes paid for by you, to take her picture. Yeah. Meanwhile, a lady who's receiving Section 8 housing, AFDC, food stamps, and all other kinds of government entitlements is calling 911 to report that her 52-inch plasma display has been stolen. Yeah. That, those are true stories, people. You know, I almost didn't make it here today. Yeah, I was having medical issues. And uh, my team was trying to get me to Cuba for my medical care. Because there is a communist in the People's Republic of California named Diane Watson who says, and I quote, the Cuban health care system is something to behold. So the pimping of Obamacare continues. And I actually got to view these documents, if it's on my Facebook page, 
And I'm telling you, I had to call three of my cousins to help me lift them, and it took our whole lunch tower. People, the government is bamboozling you. Those documents are big for a reason, because you can hide sh stuff in them. I got taller. <laughs> They had stuff like death panels, the ability for them to look at your medical records, and a lot of other stuff. And they say these things don't exist in the legislation because they're telling you, don't believe your lying eyes. And the man who's supposed to be the smartest guy in the room, Harvard alum, Juris Doctorate, first black president of law review, and community activist, Sorry, my man. <laughs> Junior Senator, now leader of the former free world, and yes, the President is using the United States Postal Service as his example of why we should go with this socialized system. So I came up with their new slogan. I came up with their new slogan. Just don't get sick on the weekend. I guess Obama didn't get the memo. Or maybe he just didn't read the memo, but the post office is broke. And so is Medicare, so is Social Security, and quite frankly, so is America. Here's a stock tip for you. Buy Harvard Diploma toilet paper. It's going to go up. A great man died the other day. And so did Teddy. I thought my car could float and was a boat Kennedy. And with his death, the Democrats want to put lipstick on a pig and repackage death care, and they want to name it Kennedy. <laughs> Health care is now a Kennedy. And something tells me that we won't get treated like Kim at Kennedy's when we go in for health care. Yeah. So here's the deal. Kennedy spent 47 years in the Senate, and God finally said, if you won't implement term limits, I will. Is it any surprise to you guys that the governor of Massachusetts wants to appoint another Kennedy to fill his seat? Wait a minute, is he the Kennedy? Aren't they all smart? I say it qualifies you to be a limo driver or a boat operator. And then I said, well, why not just appoint his ghost? If Marion Barrick in D.C. can get elected as a crackhead, why not elect a couple of more Kennedys? Folks, we have a government who cares more about the laws of terrorists than they do about the laws of its tax-paying citizens. Where illegal immigrants are entitled to more rights than the rest of us. Can we talk economy for a minute? You guys okay with that? Or you want me to get down? <laughs> Just recently, the White House reported that they had underestimated the debt by $2 trillion. That's not exactly a rounding error. So in the time I've been speaking to you, literally millions and millions of dollars are clicking off the debt clock, clock in terms of interest on that loan. Just amazing. It's going to cost somewhere between 30 to 40,000 people for everybody that I'm looking at and everybody in America for this. Uh oh, guys, we've got a little boy here who can't find his sister. Her name is Kelly. Kelly, if you're out there, can you come up here to where the bus is? Kelly, if you're out there, come to where your brother is by the bus. What's your last name? DeRussia? Kelly DeRussia. Oh, we got her. Thanks, boy. <laughs> Keep up with your kids, people. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs>